<laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so good morning, sir. Um, good morning. How are you? I'm I'm good, thanks. Um, can you maybe tell us uh, how you how you found this um, training? Was it um, beneficial to you in any way? Yeah, the training was very very nice. Uh, it's uh, for my own benefit, but also I think uh, the issue of uh, technology or ICT. I'm going to use it in my organization also, so it's a benefit to the organization in the area of communication because uh, before we are using a lot of uh, uh, time just trying to send our letters through the postal address, but uh, sometimes we have been using interpreters to communicate, but with this technology we think uh, things are going very easy like the webcam and the video call that uh, the deaf people can also communicate without an interpreter. That's a very good step. But also, in Chabita, for a long time, we were uh, uh, not updating the uh, website, and uh, this is because we need someone to come and update the website, and uh, with a lot of cost. But after this training, I think we can use the uh, blog to update the information inside our website so it was very very interesting very interesting and uh, we are very much thankful for you for coming with this idea Asante. Um, and, then, and then also um, you said that the training was was very beneficial for you as an as an individual and to your organization do you think this is something that you yourself and this organization can train can teach to the rest of the deaf community? Yes, I think uh, uh, this training, uh, what I can say is that you have just planted a seed and uh, within that seed we need to uh, generate more that you, you have given us a like a fruit which we have tested and uh, the test seems to be very good and we won't throw these uh, seeds we need to plant the seed so that it can grow and having uh, more fruits that uh, people could enjoy so uh, for sure that uh, Chavita is going to uh, make some strategies to make sure that uh, other deaf people are also going to be trained in ICT and uh, Chavita will have a lot of branches in the countryside and uh, there are some uh, programs which are going on and uh, we do conduct uh, workshops and uh, meetings. Uh, what we are going to do is to make sure that we have a program or uh, a timetable to make sure that uh, other deaf people can also learn about this uh, uh, information. We have a problem. Um, or a challenge to bring the deaf stay together for the training. That's a challenge, but uh, I think we can find ways on how we can try to make sure that this kind of technology is passing over to other people. Uh, we could be using workshops in their areas and uh, other ways to make sure that uh, this uh, message is going to everyone. Okay. And, uh, we can also work together, you and the Finnish Embers, our organization, the interpreters, so that we can have different opportunities to make sure that this technology goes to everyone. And that is the important part of uh, a living lab is that you work together with, uh, with with different partners and stakeholders. And like from the art lab side, we will we will support you remotely. And then also, we have TENS ICT, um, Yuka and Christina, that will support. The organization as well as so yeah right in, in Tanzania so thank you so much for your, for your views and for your input okay thank you you're welcome and uh, let's continue cooperating thank you